Hey everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. I'm making a quick video just to show you my favorite soaps to have around the kitchen and in the bathroom to wash my hands, to wash veggies and fruits, and to wash my countertops. If you hear some noise, some laughter, or some music in the background, it's my kids. They are home and they are having fun in the living room. <laughs> the solid dish cake this one is in a mason jar sometimes we sell them this way sometimes we sell them as a block and i also have a video on my channel giving you a recipe to get this uh, solid dish cake to uh, foam you just pour water on it and on the brush and you just get it moving in there and you will have a nice foamy lather and you can wash uh, your glasses, a dish, you can wash the sink with it, or your surfaces such as your um, stove tops or your counters. Make sure to always drain them properly. You can even let them dry upside down by the side of the sink a little while before turning it back over. Another soap that we have on our online store is the Sand Dollar Household uh, Soap. It can be used on many surfaces. Simply wet your brush or a scrubby like this, like this one and just get it to foam on the bar of soap and then you can just use it to wash surfaces such as uh, metal, glass, ceramics, wood even. I use my I use it to clean my uh, wooden cut cutting board. <laughs> hey kids, yeah. quiet please. <laughs> this soap is very gentle. It contains olive oil and flaxseed oil, as well as good cleansing oils like um, palm oil and coconut oil. So you can surely use it to wash your hands as well. There's so much sun today, it's a great day. Oh, oh the sun, it's crazy today. Okay, so um, to wash hands, I have one of my favorites of the moment is the horsetail mint and nettle soap. Uh, it has essential oils of mint. It smells really nice and refreshing. It's very moisturizing. It's made with local herbs and hydrosol that I made with uh, homegrown mint. The essential oils in this soap are mint, rosemary, and tea tree. And it's a great all around soap for the body, for your hands. I always have a piece by the sink, also one in the, um, in the bathroom. And this soap can actually be used for more than washing just your hands. Right now, I've been using this soap to wash my fruits and veggies that I take back from the grocery store. Um, so after my hands are cleaned, I give my fruits a quick wash with just plain soap. You can do this with most soaps. Uh, I would choose an unscented soap that doesn't have uh, fragrance. Essential oils are okay, but I would not use a you know fragrance scented soap for food. After washing your hands, you can do the same thing with your apple, carrots, or other veggies. Just as for washing your hands, you can do so for about 20 seconds. If you have a veggie brush, use it. There you go. Other good soap options for your kitchen and your bathroom to wash your hands are our goldenrod and fall honey soap. 
You could also use our Minty Morning Wind. I love this one. It's mint, rosemary, and patchouli. I absolutely love that one. It's a classic. We've been making it for 15 years. Uh, if you have more sensitive skin, you could choose Worry Free and Calendula or Softy Baby. We also have our Kelp and Lavender Soap that is very gentle, made with locals, goat, local goat's milk. Uh, you can browse our old-fashioned soap collection and just try to stay away from the exfoliating soap if you want to wash fruits and veggies with them but all of the other ones are great choices thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for continuing to support small businesses via online purchases this is such a critical timing for so many people right now and those of us who are able to sell online this is one of our like outlets that can make it possible for us to continue to make a part of our you know income so thank you so much you can share my video uh, you can subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow my facebook pa page and my instagram account and i really wish that i can go back to the workshop shortly to make more traditional soap making videos right now my content may be a little bit different because i'm home and i'm with my kids most of the time so do your part so we can beat this monster quick. Stay home, wash your hands, and go out for the strict minimum so we can get back on our feet as fast as possible. Thank you. Take care. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.